Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're off uh, Morton and Strabrack again today, and um, we had a very early start as usual, and decided to chase some mackerel early on today, and there was some around, there's, there's been some around this week, and um, myself and Wade trolled pretty hard for a few hours, but we didn't do very well. But uh, Mick Duncan's with us today, and Mick managed to catch a nice Spanish um, about ooh, 9 a.m. I guess. So I've got a little bit of video of that. I'll roll that for you because it's probably a little bit exciting, more exciting than the stuff I've shot today. But uh, anyway, after the after the mackerel hunt, we decided to come back out to a little bit of deep water and uh, drop some jigs and bait on the bottom here and see if we can get something for the table. And you know, the, the place hasn't disappointed again. We've done, done okay. Nothing, nothing, you know, serious, but um, enough to make the day, um, you know, even more enjoyable. Take home some fish. So anyway, sit back, enjoy the video, and we'll show you the highlights. <laughs> That's a good uh, account opener. <laughs> okay. Oh yes. He's well fed. Oh yes. One point four, I reckon. I've got that other line out, eh? Oh, okay. I can see it wrapped around you a bit there. Yeah. It's, it's okay, it goes back out the back of the ski there. All right, I'll just try yeah. it. Yeah. What was that on, mate? Live bait or? No, nah, it's a uh, tailor. Tailor. Yeah. I got these um, new rig. Oh, yeah. It goes down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just kept going over them. I could see them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, was, they just went biting, but true to its word, that uh, not 19 past 8, the bite time was supposed to be. <laughs> Excellent. Right on. Alright, I'm going to go. This is why we do it. <laughs> yeah. 
Have a go at the size of this thing. That was a hard fight. I don't usually leave my line out, but this time I left it out because this is the first map I didn't want to lose him. I just sort of mug it if I <laughs> tangle up my lines, but have a go at this bastard. Solid ass. Just to show you uh, what I've got here, I've got a slimy, uh, it was live, obviously, it didn't last too long. I just butterflied the one side for because we don't use, um, we don't chum on the skis, so I just used, uh, just cut the one side open for a bit of, you know, blood flavour in the water, and um, yeah, just put them on some gangs. There we go, that will walk down nicely. No, I did lose a fish. I did actually lose. I lost two good fish. Two drifts. Found out my uh, hooks weren't sharp, so always make sure your hooks are sharp. Gave them a quick touch up, and next drift I was on. Good one. Okay, always Iki Jimmy, my uh, fish. Just using one of these. Just spike it, brain spike it in the back of the head and always bleed it and then um, chuck it in the esky. There we go, another nice one. This one's slightly smaller. It's gone 47, so not too bad, good for the table. Are you still up at the 35s, mate? Good. Better come up here, mate. These snapper are hungry. They got something on. Oh, shit. It's big. It's big, and I can't hold it. Oh. Shark. Okay guys, I've um, tried everything today. Dropped the Kabura. There's, there's good showings of fish here. Dropped the Kabura, dropped the jigs. Couldn't come right. I did have some live baits, some live slimies. So I thought they'd just float them down on a set of gangs. Um, the small ball sinker, we got a bit of uh, current today. 65 meters of water and they are definitely there you just got to put in front of them uh, what they want to eat sometimes so just went just over 50 so i'm pretty happy with that it's been three trips now with um lost fish to a account for no good table fish so i'm really happy with that it's gonna go well on the barbie
There we go. Bagged out for snapper for the day. Another little. This one went 47. So not the biggest, but not too bad. A decent fish this one. Not what it is, but it's good. <laughs> it's had a bit of a dig and I think it's given up. Hope so. Alright, oh, let's have another dig. This. Definitely not another bloody shark. <laughs> Who knows? Well, I can't hold it. I think it's a shark. Let's see if I can pull him up a bit. Oh man. Maybe he has a brick me. It feels like he's brick me. All right, coming up. Play up. It might have been in the jaws of a shark or a cod or something. It's feeling awfully light now. Yep. <laughs> Tug of war with a shark. So I'm not having much luck today. I'm just sort of, uh, that's the second sharking. First one was so big I couldn't even hold onto my line. And it snapped me off and the line was raised all the way up the leader. So let's try again. Maybe I'll be able to land one. up before the sharks this time. Snapper. Nice snapper. There you go. That's a nice dobby. Not a bad size. We'll keep that one. <laughs> There's some nice snappers here. Okay, another nice red, nice snapper. Um, they're just they're running about 55 centimeters, so just over 50 centimeters. So yeah, good size, good eating, ta good table size.
What's this? Get up before the sharks. <laughs> Yes, that's what we wanted. One to go, that was it. <laughs> so we're gonna pack up I think and uh, hit, hit the hit the track back. Live to fight another day. It's been such a beautiful day out here. Not great on the fish, but I'm pretty happy with my um, snapper. Would have liked to have a nice um, Spanish like uh, Mick, but um, aims the brakes. You know, I think there was only we only saw one caught, and that was his. So it wasn't a lot around. It was a decent one though. I think it was about you know, 1.4 meters. It looked pretty good. Uh, good on him. They don't call him mackerel Mick for nothing. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the channel again, and um, hopefully there'll be a, a little bit more action during summer. And I hope to see you. 2022. Wow, 2022. See you there.